Hello friends, uh, right now let us discuss about the importance of thyroid hormone which we have dealt in our previous 3 to 4 classes uh, in pharmacology. So before we deal with the action, I mean uses of thyroid hormone uh, in pharmacology in our day to day life. So let us learn about the pharmacokinetics uh, in, of thyroid hormone. Uh, thyroid hormone, if you uh, wanted to give it orally, it is basically an oral tablet which is available. So, this should be administered in the empty stomach because it may lead to interaction, inter, I mean, it may interfere with food. Sorry, food may interfere. Uh, with its absorption food interferes with its absorption so it should be given on empty stomach so this should be given on empty stomach but if one has severe and severe hypothyroidism this may reduce the absorption of oral absorption of uh, hypothyroid I mean, of thyroid hormones uh, oral good oral absorption and bioavailability is around 75 percent but this is less or decreased in severe hypothyroid patients right all these are the pharmacokinetics of uh, thyroid hormone. So let us deal with interactions of thyroid hormone. Uh, if it is given as a drug. So whenever we give thyroid hormone as a drug. Thyroid. Uh, there are certain drugs which decrease the absorption of thyroid. And certain drugs which increase the absorption of thyroid. Those which... So, uh, this is absorption. So, let us deal with drugs which uh, inhibit the absorption. That is, decrease the absorption. Instead of inhibit, it is decreased. Inhibit or decrease. So, those include sucralfate, iron, calcium, proton pump inhibitors. That is H2 blood. I mean, we have proton pump inhibitors. Yeah, all these drugs will inhibit or decrease the absorption of thyroxine hormone. Whereas, which activate the absorption or increase the absorption, these are basically CYP3A4 inducers like rifampin. Uh, phenytoin carbamazepine so these are the interactions which are seen in the thyroid hormone I mean uh, if thyroid hormone is administered as a drug so how is this thyroid hormone administered as a drug it is administered in the form of one thyroxine it is not one sorry it is l thyroxine it is administered in the form of l thyroxine that is levothyroxine so what are the uses finally how will we use this thyroid hormone so the uses are in hormone rep replacement therapy Uses in hormone or replacement therapy for cretinism, adult hypothyroidism, where there is decreased thyroid hormones 
और मिक्सेडिमा खोमा नॉन टॉक्सिक गोइटर इवन इन नॉन टॉक्सिक गोइटर दो प्राइमरीली देर इज इंक्रीज्ड और हाइपर थायराइडिज्म बट लेटर इट शिफ्ट्स टू हाइपोथायराइडिज्म एंड थायराइड नोड्यूल एंड इवन इन पैपिलरी कार्सिनोमा ऑफ थायराइड so all these are the conditions where thyroid hormone is used in hormone replacement therapy so deal with how they are used why they are used or mainly dealt with medicine but just remember the uh, thyroid hormone though it is a physiological it is present in our body it may be absent in certain situations where it is necessary for us to supplement the hormone in one or the other way so in the present class ends up here and tomorrow we will deal or in the next class we would deal with our uh, um, thyroid antagonists so so far we have completed the synthesis of thyroid hormone and the metabolism of thyroid hormone and the degradation of thyroid hormone action of thyroid hormone on the cell how does it act and the actions of thyroid hormone in various different tissues and structures of our body and pharmacokinetics of thyroid hormone when it is administered as a drug interactions of thyroid hormone and uses of thyroid hormone in hormone replacement therapy so in our next class we would deal with anti thyroid drugs okay bye